Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What a great way to start a video. Thanks, Kim. Hey, what up, guys? So today I wanted to talk to you about something interesting and something wild that's been going on. A lot of you guys know I've been magic finding and trying to pay back a bow that I bought. And thanks to you guys and helping me out, I managed to make a Tornado Shot MF character. I've managed to follow Nismat to make an Ellie bow and an Ellie variant that worked out really, really well. And then I've managed to upgrade it to a Fizz variant. And we'll talk about the Fizz variant in another video. But my tornado shot guy has been doing great. We've been magic finding a lot. And we've been doing some stuff while magic finding that a lot of you guys have been like, hey, you're doing this really weird thing. Why are you clicking on that? That's really weird. And I wanted to bring your attention to something that has been making me a lot of passive income and one of the biggest money makers alongside of magic finding that I've been very fortunate to do. Today, I want to talk to you about a very unique item called the unique magic ring. I present to you today an inventory full of magic rings or unique rings. These unique rings will be used in a vendor recipe, which a lot of people I found out did not know existed or did not realize how powerful it was in this current state of the league. Now, this video might not be relevant in future leagues as Eternal Damnation might not exist, but in the current state of this league, this is a really strong item, and I'll show you why. If I take all of these rings and I click them into the vendor... I'm going to get a very specific specific item called a lore weave. Boom, an elegant ring mail. So 60 unique rings sold to the vendor net me a lore weave. When I take this lore weave and I identify it, I'm going to be looking for very specific properties on it. Now, there's a lot of stats in the lore weave and there's a lot of interesting things and a lot of good and bad things. The role that we care most about is your maximum resistance. Now, in our case, it rolls 76 to 78, but we got very, very, very lucky, and we rolled a natural 78% lore weave. This is great. If I use my little pricing tool on this, you can see that lore weaves themselves aren't very expensive, but the minute I change my max resist to 78 and I hit search, you'll notice these two are probably price fixing, but these things sell for 2.8, 2.53 divines. Now, for a lot of people, this is really good passive income, I have actually an entire inventory of 78s. Now, I was kind of hoping this would not roll 78 so I could show you what to do with it, but in our case, we rolled 78. If you do this and you roll a non-78 lore weave and you roll a 76 or a 77, I can actually take these to the vendor and take three to one, sell it to the vendor. It'll re-roll it and give me a new one, hoping to get 78s. Now, I know a lot of you guys are listening to this and saying, but it's like, only a couple divines like why are you doing this it's, it's, it's a couple divines and you're right it is a couple divines and you're gonna say well why do you have all these lore weaves what are you doing and well this is why i double corrupt my 78 lore weaves i did this on stream so a lot of you guys would have seen me do this i double corrupted this lore weave and it plus four for duration gems and aura gems or aoe gems plus two duration plus two aoe gems and i sold it for 300 divines so you have two options you can get 78 lore weaves you can sell them for three divines to people like me that are picking them up and double corrupting them or you could just if you're looking for a good fun gamble you can double corrupt them yourselves i know i've been stacking up on them for magic funding i get about a lore weave every two and a half three maps with my current mf setup i just go double corrupt them and if I hit, I'm thrilled. If I don't, whatever. But I wanted to just show you guys why I was doing this, tell you guys why I was doing this, because a lot of people have been asking, and I want to let you know that you can make a couple of quick divines, real simple, real easy, picking up your lore waves. Now, if you want to know more about the magic find strategy that I've been doing, I did a video recently about Tornado Shot, and I'll be doing more magic find on stream, so you'll probably see this video, and then you'll like come on over to the Twitch stream, and I'll be doing some magic finding, I'm going to be doing Harbinger on the boss. I'm going to be doing Enraged Strong Boxes. I'm going to be doing Strong Boxes Additional. And I'm going to be doing Slaying Enemies with Beyond. I'm going to be pairing that with a bunch of Winged Scarab. I bought a whole ton of Winged Reliquary, a whole ton of Winged Ambush, a whole ton of Winged Divination, and a whole bunch of Winged Harbinger. I'll be running eight modded Crimson Temple maps, doing a Wandering Path tree, which I'm going to change this tree over to Wandering Path. I'll be changing this in a little bit. 
that's that. So if you want to find out more, you can check out the video that I recently posted out. You can come on over to my Twitch stream. If you want to leave a comment down below, that'd be great. It would help the algorithm a lot. And I just wanted to make a quick short video to be like, hey, here's a little three minute video, how to make quick divines. So go forth, take this knowledge as you will and do as you please. For now, I'm going to go back to magic finding. So long, friends. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the quickest three divines of your life.